Uh, my name is Sergeant First Class Lewis Renero. I'm a 91 X-ray uh, and 135th FSC 327 Field Artillery. Oh, uh, well, I, I came into the military as infantry and then I had the opportunity to medically reclass. Uh, I became a welder and ever since then uh, I really enjoyed maintenance and I'm glad that I changed uh, MOS's and since then uh, I just really uh, grabbed maintenance by the horns and you know gone away with it. You know. uh, I enjoy maintenance taking uh, especially fleet maintenance taking something that is more or less uh, neglected or needs work and seeing it evolve over time into uh, something better of, of, its ver of, of itself and uh, it is interesting to see the process unfold. So today, uh, specifically, we are training the Romanian military, uh, their maintenance assets, on ways that we conduct maintenance. The Romanian military, they are very technically savvy and they're very good, uh, but we have some insight in our experience as uh, an operational force that we can go ahead and uh, show them a few things that may not be in the book. Uh, this is my first time that I've worked with the Romanians uh, in a maintenance capacity and they seem uh, very eager to learn um, you know, ab about what we do. This is, so uh, my MOS as a 91 X-ray maintenance supervisor, uh, I'm in charge of the operations for recovery, uh, forward support maintenance, uh, as well as scheduled, unscheduled services, and basically everything regarding the maintenance on top of the NCO responsibilities of a senior NCO. And then in my capacity as a section sergeant of a forward support company, uh, I'm also responsible for the soldiers uh, providing distribution assets, uh, ammunition, uh, further maintenance, contact teams, uh, and then of course all the responsibilities for a senior NCO. Be all you can be. You know, I can really uh, take that one to heart. Uh, when I joined the military, I really didn't have much. And I think it's very easy for any soldier to just, you know, Monday through Friday to go through the paces. But if you really want it, you, you can make it whatever you want it to be. You know, you can really get something out of the military if you apply it. My name is Captain Rochelle Stewart. I'm the Charlie Battery 327 Field Artillery Commander. Out of Fort Liberty, North Carolina, however, we are currently deployed in the European theater. This deployment is a lot different than the others I have been on. Uh, in 2019, I was also here in Europe. However, this deployment in particular, I'm with the HIMARS Battalion. HIMARS has been a highlight within the European theater because of everything it's done with our NATO allies. So we have done a lot more exercises because of this. Currently, I have my first platoon of my battery here, and we are part of the exercise called Arcane Thunder 2023. Working with partners and our allied forces, currently we have the French and the Romanians here to shoot all of our weapon systems in a combined arms exercise. Working with our allies and making sure that we're increasing our interoperability and just building confidence across the nation. I have a second platoon in a separate area of Europe, and then a third platoon is also in a different part of Europe. I have been in the army for a six and a half almost seven years at this point. Originally, I joined the Army because I truthfully wanted to pay for school. However, I stayed in the Army because I love the mission set, I love the people, I love the soldiers, I love problem solving. And it was just something to be a part of something bigger than just myself. Um, the biggest thing for me was that I didn't come from much, so the Army was a great way for me to pay for school, increase my ability to talk to other people, build my personal confidence, and in general, be able to support my family back home. If I was to tell someone why they should join field artillery and just the Army in general, I would say, hey, this is a great opportunity for you, especially when it comes to the officer route. You can go through ROTC, you can pay for schooling, and even if that's not your choice and not what you want to do, if you do choose to go the enlisted route, you can use that GI Bill for your future and just build a better community for yourself as you start doing the stepping stones with your future.